Hello, good morning, welcome to Good Vibes. I'm Lisa Halk, your host, here with Dane Henning. How are you, Dane? Good, I'm great. Glad I'm great. I'm glad spring is almost upon us. Oh my goodness, it's warm this it morning. I mean, close. considering, it feels like yeah. a spring morning. Yeah, it does. It feels uh, nice and rainy and it, yeah, all rainy that kind of stuff. But, but it was in the 50s when I got up today. It was, it was. I'm so excited. Me too. And I can see little green things starting to sprout yeah. up. I started seeds last week and right, I have right. little seedlings. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I'll be able to put them out in my garden. I'm just looking forward to getting to mow and... Yeah. You know, spring training, that would be baseball oh. fans, spring training just started. So I'm life is really, good. it's, yeah. yes, life is, <laughs> life is pretty good Your right favorite now. time of year. Uh, yes, very, yeah. oh yeah. I saw a Hands rainbow down. coming in this morning yeah. and that reminded me of spring too. You well, know? it should, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like the definition of spring right yep. there. So, yeah. so, well, today I want to talk about the advantages of getting older. And I think a lot of people, like Gary said a few minutes ago, said there aren't any. <laughs> I right. told him that was wrong. There are definitely advantages to getting older. Yeah, there yeah. are. There are some. There are, I feel wise. You feel that's Speak, it. My, yeah. my birthday is coming up. You are. You're about to have a birthday. I'm about a, to have a birthday in like on the a second. few days. Yeah, yeah, on the second. So, um, old man. I'm not all that excited about it though. So please <laughs> let's let's get into this and talk about some advantages okay. of getting older because I need that for my ego right that, now. All right. So okay. so they say you know you. Or everybody knows you can have some physical challenges or some other things that might sure. affect your quality of life as sure. you get older but some of the good things about aging is number one you have a better outlook on life okay uh, okay okay a recent canadian report um said seniors are some of the happiest people in the world that makes sense mm -hmm. the other group that they said was in there were teenage boys mm -hmm. i left that out because i thought no <laughs> I couldn't be nearly as happy as a senior. I wouldn't want to I go through remember, puberty again. <laughs> I don't remember being all that happy when I was... I remember being angry all the time when I was a teenager. Uh, but they do... It says they do tend to have a better outlook on life. And some of the reasons are they are better with their management skills because mm -hmm. they've honed those over the years. Mm -hmm. They're able to handle negative situ situations in a more appropriate way. Mm -hmm. Gary, stop shaking your head at me. <laughs> Better than younger adults anyway. Let's say it that way. And then being more comfortable with themselves in general. Sure. Okay. Okay. So the second thing is they get to interact with their grandkids. Right. Right. Which, yep. Now, Gary they can't get, argue with that they, one. They get the grandkids. <laughs> it makes them more social and they get to enjoy the children without actually sure. having the responsibility of parenting them. Right. So they get all the good you stuff. You don't get the stresses of being a parent. You get to be the grandparent. Yes, yeah, so and you get to spoil the best them, right, part. Gary? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. He can't argue with that one. I can speak to that as well, having my parents be grandparents and my wife's parents be grandparents. And my daughter's the first one. My daughter's right. the first, first child grandkid. and first grandkid mm -hmm. So of both families. So, it, yeah, I could definitely see that. And then they're just like, oh, we're done. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, Load her up her on sugar. Yeah. And, <laughs> Send her home. Yeah. yeah. And then we got to deal with I don't it. think I will ever have that i might aaron said the other my my son's 25 he uh -huh. said the other day that um maybe by the time i'm 35 i might have a wow. child wow. but he's not married or yeah. i mean you know he's just enjoying his life sure and so he travels a lot and he has girlfriends but eh. we'll see we'll see one we'll of these see. days he might give me a grandchild i don't know yeah. that lexi ever will give me a grandchild well I I, I wanted I wanted nine I wanted like nine kids. I don't want nine kids anymore. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was pretty quick to. I, yeah, I want to have kids. Yeah, so. you, it'll be fun to be a grandma one yeah. day. One day. But another one of my one of my favorite. I know this isn't on here, but one of my favorite statistics about the elderly population is we're going to start talking about they have more time to do different types of things, right? Uh -huh. They also vote. <laughs> they actually vote. So people that are my generation. Uh, <laughs> you get so busy with your you need lives. To vote, okay? Mm -hmm. But no, seriously, uh, they they're, they're engaged in their communities. They're engaged in in politics and stuff like that. And that's probably one of my favorite things. Is well, cool. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get yeah. into that. Just so, so number three is uh -huh. more time with loved ones, no, not don't. just grandchildren, mm -hmm. but just to be able to hang out with your friends more or family mm -hmm. you don't get to see often mm -hmm. and. Maybe you have the ability to travel more, so mm -hmm. you get to be with the people you care about the most right. more often. Number four is being able to do things you didn't make time for when you were working or raising a family. Okay. So 
this is a great time to start a new project or a new hobby. My friend Debbie Stevenson, mm. when she retired, she moved to Gulfport, Florida, which is just the coolest little town. It's outside of Tampa. Mm -hmm. And it's just this little hippie community. And they are mm -hmm. doing something all the time. Mm. And she took up painting and she is fabulous. Whoa. Didn't know she could paint. <laughs> she wow. didn't know she could paint. She had already always wanted to learn and she went and took classes right. and learned and she does beautiful artwork. Wow. And she's also started weaving and doing mm -hmm. different things. So I think that's wonderful. Right, absolutely. And you can go on longer vacations because mm -hmm. you don't have to get back to work or the kids. Right. And it also gives you time maybe to do home improvements mm -hmm. you've wanted to do that mm -hmm. you haven't gotten around to. Mm -hmm. You know, build that extra room for the grandkids. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or, or been in the pool. <laughs> or I have friends that have done that too. Yeah. <laughs> Number five is you can give back to others. Yes. So this might give you an opportunity to volunteer. Get volunteer which at is the church. Amazing. At, at, yeah, schools, hospitals, mm -hmm. churches, libraries, mm -hmm. or even charities or causes to take like Special Olympics sure. Or, sure. or something that's, Absolutely. that's seasonal. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. the, so my, my grandma, I remember um, every not just general election, but also in the in the midterms and stuff like that. She used to drive around and she used to rent a van every election, whether it be primary, general, or midterm. <laughs> I love she would this rent one. a van <laughs> and go and pick up her friends to go vote. To go vote. I thought you were going to say she had one of the megaphones and she drove around the neighborhood. No, she didn't do that. She didn't, she didn't do vote. that. She didn't do that. But she would go pick up her friends. They couldn't drive herself. I love drive, that. Drive. It eventually got to where my grandma couldn't drive. Yeah. But uh, I remember that as a really small kid. I remember that being very, very small. She used to go and pick up her friends and go pick up really anybody that she had convinced How to go sweet. vote or couldn't go vote themselves. And so she would do that every, and it didn't matter if it was a primary, it didn't matter if it was midterm, it didn't matter if it was a general election, she would go do that. That's or awesome. even city elections. I mean, she was very, very and that's where I, really I get Obviously, my you political came your blood. affliction yeah. is probably what most people would consider it. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's where I get it from my grandma. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, number seven is a big one. Oh no, number six. We yeah, skipped we number six. Right? Chance to nurture friendships. Mm -hmm. I think that's so big. Mm -hmm. I am the worst person in the world about, especially those friends I've had forever, yeah. to be bad about not reaching out. Sure. You know, and I think in this digital age where you can see what they're doing on Facebook, you mm -hmm. know, and it's like you feel like you're interacting with them, but you're not. Yeah, it, feels like, <laughs> it feels like it's good enough. It feels like it's good enough, but it isn't. Like, yeah. Um, so right now, I mean, both whom I'm good friends with and who, me, myself, I'm not at that senior age yet. So we both have families and lives going on. Mm -hmm. And my best friend, the way that we communicate is basically through Facebook Messenger most of the time. Mm -hmm. Texting, and, yeah. And hardly is it, do I get to actually see him in, in, in person? And I mean, it, it has its pros, but it also has its cons. And it's not, it isn't the same. It's no. not the same, but at least there is that. <laughs> while, while now, you're in the we used to talk on the phone and it seems like I mm -hmm. rarely talk on the phone anymore yeah. which is crazy yeah. at least you get to hear their voice and, well, th th there, yeah. there are memes uh, that like on social media and stuff where it's like somebody calls somebody on the phone and then they're like why are you what's why are you calling me? What's wrong? Why <laughs> what, what's call? wrong? Why are you calling? Who died? It's, no, calling it's <laughs> it's not a thing anymore. It's like text me I first. What's the matter with you? Yeah. I miss that. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. Okay, so now to number seven. Uh -huh. Wisdom. With, you know. That's a big one. All those life experiences you've had, and you can help younger people, you know, with mm -hmm. your wisdom, with your experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say to all those younger people out there, if you have an older person, if you still have a grandparent, if you have a friend who's an older person, take an opportunity to go and just spend a day with them mm -hmm. and talk to them because you will be amazed at what you will learn. That's, that's, you would never think that's my, so I'm a big history buff as well. Mm -hmm. I love history. And um, one of my favorite things to do when we, when I do go visit nursing homes, typically a veteran's nursing home. I love going to veterans nursing homes and getting to talk to the veterans and getting to hear their stories. I love to hear their stories. I, I military, always, yeah. yeah, they're military. I, what, I met one guy that did a mission for General Patton. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Um, uh, you know, and so I, and I also just love hearing about just general stories about how stuff used to be back when they were kids. And I know a lot of people, uh, I know a lot of people that are my age or my generation and younger were like, we don't, 
want to hear back when my, back in my day when back when we had rotary. Phones. I love <laughs> hearing that. I love hearing that type of stuff. I love hearing back in your day. That's why I love hearing that kind of thing. Awesome. So yeah. So go suck up that wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. Because it will be lost one day. Yeah, get some of that. Somebody needs to know. So those are my seven advantages of aging. Um, and you get to forget stuff. And, and get away with it. And get away with it. <laughs> That's a good point. I don't get to forget stuff and get away with it. He's like, no, you didn't. You're, <laughs> You're evading. Yeah. yeah. But one of the things, <laughs> caregivers can help seniors attain some of these mm -hmm. goals. Mm -hmm. And one thing, I think respite care is a great way. When, sure. when a person can stay in their own home and have home health come in mm -hmm. a couple of days a week and help them with those little things they might not be able to do, like cleaning or laundry or something. Sure you know, or help them make meals mm -hmm. and they can stay at home. It gives them the opportunity to do all these things a little more. Absolutely. So we Absolutely. are very thankful for our home health workers and, and those people mm -hmm. that take care of the aging. So, all right. So next week mm -hmm. I have some interesting topics, I think. Looking forward to it. Yeah. To we're going to have some fun things. And one of them is one of your favorite topics. It's not politics. So. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take okay, it though. I'm looking right. forward to it. Let's do it. Right. So until next week, Peace out.